everybody, Erica Sirwin here from Pink Bucker Designs. I have a really fun project for you today. It's a little treat holder, has a little test tube in it, and it uses the It's a Science stamp set. I've been using this on my blog this week, so if you haven't already, click the link here on YouTube, go back over there. There's a free PDF. It'll have the measurements, supply list, and two other It's a Science projects. So of course I thought we've got to make a test tube holder to use with a stamp set. The test tubes are for Am from Amazon. I'll have them linked. And inside of them are, these are called freeze-dried Skittles. That's how I've always seen them, but I found them on Amazon. And they're called freeze-dried Cosmic Crunchies. I'm not a Skittles fan, but I love these. I don't know what it is. It's the crunch or something. Um, so if you haven't tried them, I highly recommend it. They are delicious. All right, you're gonna need a piece of um, Parakeet Party that measures eight and a half by six and a half. On the short side, we're gonna score it at two and a half and four. Turn it back to the long side and score it at two and a half, four, six and a half, and eight. All right, now turn it back over to the short side and we're gonna draw, we're gonna make a score line that stops here at this line, um, this first horizontal score line. So at two, and I'm gonna stop, and then four and a half and stop. Turn it around to the opposite side and do the same thing, stopping at this score line. So two and four and a half, okay? So that's what your piece looks like. Now I'm gonna take my bone folder and I'm gonna score these horizontal pieces. We're gonna do some um, cutting apart here first before we burnish the other lines, okay? Because see how this one right here doesn't have the score lines? We don't want it to have the score lines. So let's get our scissors and cut away the extra cardstock and then we can burnish those lines. So I'm gonna cut out down here these squares and I'm gonna cut that score line here to make a flap. All right, so we're gonna do the same thing over here and cut this one. And these are just basically the tabs where we're gonna put our adhesive, okay? Now over here, I can cut all the way down, stopping right there, that side where we stopped our score line. And now I'm gonna take my scissors and snip all of those score lines, okay? And then this one right here, this little square, I'm gonna cut it off. All right, so this is what we have. I'm gonna lay it down here for you in just a second so you can see it. Now repeat on the other side. And then snip, snip, and snip, and then I will cut those, that little square off like that. All right, so this is what your piece looks like. Let me flip those up so you can see how they're all snipped like that. Now, I'm gonna grab my bone folder again, and I'm gonna burnish those really well. And I can see that right here, I did not cut that very straight. So I'm gonna come over here and just cut a little bit better. It looks like I cut on the left side of the score line instead of it down the center. All right, now I'm gonna take tear and tape and put on all of those flaps. You could use liquid glue or uh, Stamp and Seal Plus if you wanted, whatever you prefer. And this one right here. Now, before we go any further, we need to make a circle right here in the middle. And I like to take some of my scraps and I'm using a one inch circle punch. We don't sell this anymore. Um, I will try to remember to link one for you. I'm pretty sure everybody probably has a one inch circle, either die or um, a punch. Either one will work. I'm gonna put it right here in the middle as a guide because if I try to eyeball it, my circle will be off centered. 
All right, now I'm gonna take, let's see, yeah, that looks pretty good. Well, let's see. I'm gonna take that and punch it out. All right, so now the task is to remove all the backing. Your take your pick tool is really, really helpful for this. When you've got acrylic nails, it makes this part a little bit difficult, <laughs> but they look pretty. All right, almost got it all. All right, so now I'm gonna start with the top and I'm gonna fold over this right here so it's square, okay? And then, let's see, that one, make sure that's square. Now I'm gonna bring up this side and match those edges right there. And we'll do the same thing over here. Pressing my adhesive in. Now these, this is gonna get a little bit tricky, but this is the best way I have found to do it. Fold this in and these go on the inside. And if you have trouble sliding those in, all you have to do is cut off those corners. A lot of times I cut the corners off of all my tabs. So you might wanna just do that ahead of time. And it'll slide in like that. And then you can stick your finger in there and get it all perfectly lined up. And there you have it, your little holder for your test tube, okay? Now, for that long skinny back, I have a piece of the same parakeet party. And the first thing I'm gonna do is put some of this paper. This is our, and I can't remember the exact name, the space paper. I'll have it listed on the PDF. And then I'm gonna take my tear and tape again and put it on the back side of this box. So it will hold on to that paper really well. All right, now here's the reason you're gonna be like, why did she cut that DSP short? Because one strip of this 12 by 12 paper will get you your three sides and the back. And this part right down here is not even gonna be seen. So I left it a little bit short so that I didn't have to waste another sheet of paper. All right, let's see if I can get this lined up on here. There we go. Okay. Now we'll put these pieces. One goes on the front. One goes on the left side. And one goes on the right side. Now a little trick I will show you to keep your test tube in here straight. I like to take a dimensional and stick it at the bottom. This will keep your test tube in place until the person decides to pop it out. It comes out real easy. So get it nice and straight and then push that down. And there you have it. And it won't come out either unless you're ready to pull it out. Okay, so there's our holder. Now let's make our tag. Let me get all my pieces. I have cut a basic white label and a basic black circle. Those die sets will be listed for you on the PDF. I'm gonna stamp my little beakers and test tube in Memento Black. I'm only gonna use two of them for this. And I'm also gonna stamp the clipboard one time. All right, so now for the large beaker, I'm gonna use Melon Mambo. That's light, 
Now I'm going to take the dark and just kind of create another la la um, layer of liquid. So it looks kind of like we've got some kind of solution in here, maybe that has separated to dye lark <laughs> light and dark. Now I have Highland Heather and I'm going to do the same thing. Light, Highland Heather, and dark. And I, I don't want the line straight. I want it kind of off, you know, kind of angled, like it looks like maybe it's sloshing around. Now, I also use Wink of Stella, but my Wink of Stella is missing, so we're gonna have to skip that part. That makes it fun. Your uh, little beakers are a little bit glittery. All right, so now take a crumb cake stamp and blend, and we're gonna go all the way around. Like that. And then smoky slate for the top part. All right, now just take your paper snips, Cut off the excess and then just go around and cut them out. There's the test tube and then the beaker. I'll have a fun bonus project on Monday that uses these to make a Halloween card. So if you like Halloween, Make sure you check back on Monday for that project. There we go, now let's do the clipboard. You wanna cut away the extra cardstock as you go. That will help you stay in the nooks and crannies of your, your image so that you're not fumbling with all that extra cardstock. Okay, now for this part, I am going to emboss You Matter. And I'm first gonna take my embossing buddy and rub that on there to remove any static. And then we'll do You Matter. And I need to grab my reverse tweezers to hold this while we heat it got some white embossing powder. Let's get the extras off. All right, we're ready to layer these things up. Let's grab our Stampin' Dimensionals. And we'll start with that clipboard in the back, like that. And then we'll put the saying over here, like this. And then we're gonna need a mini dimensional for this guy. That one can go there and then this one can go on the edge like that. And it looks like I'm a little off centered, but let's see, can we fix that? How can we fix that? Let's bring this guy over a little bit like that. And then we'll put that right there. There we go. And then I have these matte dots and I'm just gonna put one on each end that and then we will put this on with a couple of dimensionals like that whoops we lost a dot and then last but not least well this guy just doesn't want to be part of the part of the cuteness let's get a different guy and just add him on there we go. And then last but not least, I've got some 
ribbon and I'm just going to tie a little bow and put this on the top. I think these would make great teacher gifts. I'm always thinking about our teachers. They would make good party favors. But again, the sentiment you matter could pretty much go to anybody you're wanting to thank. And I'm gonna attach that right there with a mini glue dot. And there you have it. I've got a little bit of a powder mess. We'll just cover that up <laughs> for right now. And there you go. All right, you guys, make sure you click the link, go back to my blog, get the links for the supplies that you need and the free PDF. All right, have fun. Thanks everybody. Bye-bye.